Hi everyone, and welcome to Kena Bridge of Spirits. Might be Kena Bridge of Spirits. I can't remember how they said you pronounce this. Since they announced this game, I've been really looking forward to playing this. So we're just going to jump in and uh, get playing. Um, what do we do? Um, let's just start with Spirit Guy, because that sounds like the uh, normal difficulty to begin with. Unique wooden masks are carved to honour the dead. Placed in sacred shrines, these masks gradually return to dust, symbolising the spirit's peaceful journey to the next life. Not all spirits can travel this path alone. Struggling with tragedies of their past, they linger and become dangerous. Masters call upon... I failed to read that quick enough. already looks amazing. Oh, it's a ghost. Where did you go, ghost? Am I following the ghost? I don't seem like I have much choice but to follow the ghost. Now there's lots of ghosts. big scary door. Apparently I can't go through the big scary door. Oh, I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. Through the big scary door. Not entirely sure how I opened it, but all right then. Didn't know if I was supposed to be dropping down then or not, but why have you come? I sense suffering here, spirit. Do you need help? Um, R1 to light attack, R2 to heavy attack. Is there a lock on? Oh, heavy attack. Heavy attack uses the uh, adaptive triggers. Yeah, you can charge up the heavy attack. Circle to dodge. Where'd the big guy go, though? Hmm. Is 
No, that lit up stuff around the portal. Okay. Okay, so it's like a locking mechanism. This is cool. Now, do I need to pulse when I'm on this? Yeah, okay. I didn't know. When I did the last one, I didn't know if it was just standing on it that triggered it or if I had to pulse as well. And I did need to pulse. I'm just blown away. Like, it looked good in the trailers, but you can never quite tell how that will translate into actual gameplay. But man, does it look amazing. Hey, children. Oh, well. They may be children, but they're also not real. Are they ghosts as well? I saw him here somewhere. So they are spirits because they um, they had their wooden masks. Oh, they're so cute. Look at that face. They're missable. Or if you can always, uh, or if you just find them as part of the story all the time. That's a cool little double jump. It's quite floaty as well. Oh, circle so cool to grab ledge. Let's test this theory. Okay. Well, she does grab it automatically as well. Oh, you have to be close enough to collect them. It's a bigger one. Are you just going to follow me around now? Oh, that's cool.
Wait a minute. Oh, he's on my shoulder still. I didn't notice he was actually on my shoulder. Oh, that's cute. Do I have to find them all to complete a level? Or is finding them all optional? Hi, Benny. We'll head down there in a minute. Why is only the first guy so little? That's what I want to know. Run quick. Ew, that area looks bad. Let's follow these guys for a sec. Do I have a map or something? Oh, it's a chest. Oh, it's got a rot on it. I didn't expect that. I don't know what I expected out of a chest in this game. But a rot was not it. Back the way we came, I suppose, then. Why did you shoot off over here? I've done the chest. Okay. That's fine. Now, I don't want to go in there until I've found everything. I feel like that's a good idea. Is time, or are we just jumping across at our leisure? Hello, buddy. Rock can now perform actions. The rock can help. Your team of companions has grown and you now have one rot action available. Press square to send the rot into objects in the environment. Collect rot to level up and gain more rot actions. Okay, so we have to get all of those ones in order to progress, but that may not be true of all levels moving forward. Potentially, maybe, I don't know. I'm making assumptions here. Pulse. Well, doesn't it look nice around here now? Yeah. I really enjoyed the music. This music is cool. Nice and calm. Can I sprint? Oh, I can sprint. Okay. Good to know. What if I have a stamina bar? No, no. The karma music has stopped. 
And now we have scary music. Enemies frighten the rot. The rot are scared and have got into hiding. Attack enemies to build courage. In combat, spend courage to perform rot actions. Courage drops can form in the world. Collect courage drops with your pulse to, or touch them to build up courage faster. The rot are ready. You can destroy dead zone hearts or bind enemies. Press square to quickly send your rot into objects in the environment. Hold L2 to aim and then press square to bind enemies. Okay. Ow. Are we good? I think we're good. Okay. We're learning. I wonder if the rot have a cooldown. Obviously they've got their courage. But... Does it always use all of their courage? Does it... So these do. They ate the berries. I don't know how that helps me, but good for them. Don't want them hungry. I'm sure that will have had some benefit to them. Does eating help build up their courage? I don't, can I reach up there? Nope. That's why we need this. The rot are really strong. Rot can move certain objects in the environment. Press square to have the rot pick up an object. Tell the rot where to go by aiming L2 and pressing square. Thanks guys. Oh, you missed it. Is that my bad? Don't grab it. There we go. I had it in slightly the wrong place, so grabbing it was a little bit more awkward than it needed to be. But that's on me. Can you pick that up? Again, I'm not sure how that benefited me, but it seemed like the right thing to do. So that looks like the way forward, hang on a bit. So what's down here? Okay, I've not been taught what these things are yet. I oh, think that's just a pause menu. Okay. I'm sure there's some kind of menu and some kind of leveling up available here that I'm not aware of. This looks like something I should be able to deal with. There's a secret in there. Hang on. Over there. You can't put it up here. Oh no. 
Okay. Alright, put it there a minute. Maybe I can't break it. Mm, maybe not. Okay. Let's just move on. Because I'm not convinced. I'm, well, I'm not convinced I can't get in there. I reckon I can, but. For now, we will move on. Oh, maybe we just get him from down here. I think I overcomplicated things again. Can you move that for me? So this is just a shortcut. Got yeah. Okay. So like I say, I don't know what those like blue gems are for. I'm assuming it's for some kind of leveling up, but I'm sure we'll be, or maybe it's money, maybe money. Let me help you. I can heal these spirits and restore balance to the forest. I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land, but you do not fully understand it. It's Groot. Can I lock off? I'd really like to be able to lock off. Ah. Ow, that hurt too. Oh, I didn't expect a double. Okay. What's on me? How do I regain health? I feel that was good use of my rot there. I got them to distract him so I could finish him off. I feel pleased with this one. Love it. <laughs> I'm 
My name is Kana. What are you two doing out here, alone in the forest? Don't worry about us. We've been here a long time and take care of ourselves. I can see that. You both look very strong. Do you know who that spirit was, with the horned mask? We don't know, but when he shows up, the gross poison grows stronger. Hey, what are you doing here in the forest? I'm searching for the sacred mountain shrine. Can you take me there? If you want to get to the mountain shrine, you have to help us with something first. Our brother Tar was trapped deep in the forest. We need you to help him. Great idea, Saya. That'll be easy for her. Did you see what she did to that stick guy? Help us free Tar and we'll take you to the mountain shrine. Woohoo! Come on, our village is this way. Okay, we got some more rot now. Now, now I have a map. Now you can take that. I mean, that actually doesn't that doesn't help me that much. But okay, it does help me because it doesn't make me uh, give me a guide of where I'm going. Well, I was trying to figure out how big the whole map is. That's what it doesn't help me with. I don't want to miss anything, so I'm just searching like every little nook and cranny, having a good old look around. Plus the game just looks amazing, so why wouldn't I want to look at absolutely everything? So I've made it to the village. This rather seems abandoned. I was expecting a village with people. I'm not sure why. So I suppose first things first is I've got to go clear the stuff from over here. You're not allowed to dodge, that's my move. In you go, guys. Good job. Close enough? Do I have to be a certain. Okay. I have to be close enough. I can't just send them off. I have to be close enough when I pulse, otherwise, it doesn't work. Yeah. 
hat cart discovered. Well, this village looks a lot nicer now. Karma and upgrades. Create karma by defeating corrupted enemies, restoring the environment, and finding fruit for your rot to eat. Okay, so that's what it got. It got me karma. From the upgrade menu, use karma to unlock new abilities. Kina? Is it Kina? She told me. She pronounced her own name, and now I can't remember. Um, I'm going to call her Kina. Because I think that's what it was. Kina can improve her base skills and infuse her abilities with rot to create powerful attacks. Additional karma. So how much? I've got 75 karma. Which isn't enough to unlock any. Oh no, I can unlock this. While sprinting, press R1 to perform a quick sweeping attack. Press R1 after parrying to perform a spinning attack. Oh, I haven't got enough of that. Okay, for now we're going to save. What's this? New hat. Oh, this is what this is for, is for buying hats. Sweet. I have no clue what having hats does to these guys. But my word, am I getting them hats? I have one of every hat. I also have a golden rod. Who's my golden rod? Is that you? Is that buddy? Um. Right, let's have a good old look around here first. It's another hat. Can I only equip hats? At the hat store. If so, I need to have a good old look around to make sure I get all the hats. Then go back to the hat store. Look at them! With their little hats on. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so we're not going that way yet. I mean, we're almost certainly going that way, but not until we've had a good old look around. So this is a fast travel point. I've got nowhere to walk to at the minute, but it's good to know there's fast travel in the game. Hey, fruit. You guys want fruit? You gonna come get fruit? No? Alright. I thought fruit got me karma. I was hoping they'd eat it and I'd get more karma. Okay, well I didn't expect it to hurt. I did expect it to be a force weapon to like knock me back. I didn't expect it to be painful. So that's where we came in. guys up to? They're just milling about. I think they're just milling about. Okay, so there isn't anywhere else for us to go right now, it looks, and it doesn't look like there's anything else for us to search. 
so. Now seems like the perfect opportunity to end the first episode before we go and talk to uh, the guys over there and head in to the next area. So I was really looking forward to playing this game and now I have played it for a little bit I'm even more excited about playing it so far I've absolutely loved this game and uh, I can't wait to delve into it a bit more. If you've enjoyed it too hit that like button below let me know what you think in the comments and join us next time for the next one.